Hi everybody. Today I'm working on a standing rabbit doll. This is the pattern by Sweet Peas Primitives. I have never done a standing doll before, but I love them. So I decided it was time. So I've got the bunny made, got the head sewed on, and I put some paint around the eyes and the nose. Now mine is made out of wool because that's what I had. This one is made out of plush felt. So it says to paint the eye area and the nose dark, which I have to do the opposite because my rabbit's dark, so I had to paint it light. Then I have to add the eyes on and stitch the nose on here. Uh, before I did that, I did want to show you progress. So here are the legs. You don't stuff them. You just put a dowel rod in them and then this part goes up into the bunny and then the bottom part let's see if i can do this with one hand there so the dowel will come out more and the dowel will go into a hole in the board so uh this is a carrot that it will be holding in its hand the ears i did put um, pipe cleaners in them so you can bend them and fix them any way that you want them to be and now it's time to put some eyes on and stitch a nose and mouth, and then I'll get working on this. Okay, I I've got the legs in, so I drilled the holes, and then I put the dowel in with some um, it just Aileen's Tacky Glow. And this is the leg. So you only stuff the front part of this here, and then the back is just, this is all unstuffed. So I'm going to put those on there. Those are there. And then I got the doll's face done. Hopefully you can see that good. I used these buttons and then I put a little wool penny underneath it and hand stitched it on. This is some Valdani thread. I just put a knot on each side to keep it in place. This is some Valdani that I just stitched across for the nose. All right, so I cut some little holes. Let's show you back here. I'm hoping. Let me see if I can lighten this up a little bit. There we go. All right, so I cut some little holes and those are for the dowels. I have to line those up. And put the dowels in. Now, then you just make sure your legs are going the right way and just push it down. There. So there he is. There you go. First time I've made a standing doll. All right, so now I think I'm supposed to put a little bit of glue here, but actually I forgot. That shows you how that goes. Forgot to put his pants on. So I just made these pants with some quilting cotton that I had and they go over the legs. Okay. They go over the legs and then I'm going to put this back in here again, push it down, pull the pants up. I decided that I'm going to put a little bit of glue down here because this slides up and down and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the top to hold it in place. Okay, there is my bunny guy with his pants on, his face done. There he is. So now I need to do the carrot. So I've got the carrot. I made this out of actually um, dyed wool, hand dyed wool. And I need some greens for the top. So I took raffia here and I'm going to water down some green paint, just acrylic paint. And um, soak this in that and then I let it dry. Then it goes inside here and you just do like a running stitch around the top of this or I could guess I could just hot glue it to close it up around that and then this will go in his hand like this and he'll be holding the carrot. Now one thing I regret I kind of did wrong I didn't coffee stain his pants before um, I put them on him. So I'm also going to do that now. I'm going to, 
they're already on him and I can't take them off. So I'm going to have to brush the coffee stain on. I'm going to try to do it all over the entire thing. I'll do it in the kitchen sink or maybe in the bathtub because it's going to be messy. And then I have this big old crock pot that I got at a thrift store. It has a lid on it so I can make my coffee mixture and just leave it in the uh, refrigerator and it keeps for a really long time when you do it that way. So just a word to the wise, do this before you put the pants on. It's probably easier, but I got a grungy mat. It needs to be grunged. This is just instant coffee. That's all it is. But you can add a little cinnamon, some vanilla. But this, what I'm using, is just instant coffee. Get the cheapest kind I find. Doesn't really matter that I'm splashing it, making a mess, and wasting it because it's like a dollar or something for a jar of it. My bunny guy is all done, and I love him. He came out so cute. Let me show you here a little closer up. So I used a wool penny behind the old button for his eyes. The uh, whiskers are just some Valdani thread that I put a knot on each side of his nose. This is just sewn on with Valdani. Just put some buttons on here. Well, they look purple, but they're brown. And then here, as I said, the rabbit is wool and it's um, hand dyed. The, this is raffia that I used green paint on. And the ears have um, pipe cleaners in them. So you can move them to anywhere you want. And I'll show you the back. Crisscross is back there. A little fuzz on him. And then down here is the base. So one thing I will say that I didn't do in the last part of the video is when I put the legs inside the body, I didn't glue them. So when I picked it up last night like this, I just picked it up from here and the legs came right out. So I had to lower the pants this morning and put the dowels back into the body and then put some hot glue on them. So there he is. I really, really like him. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you've never made a standing doll, it's super easy. Don't be afraid of it. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget that thumbs up, and check out my other videos. There's lots of them. Bye.